Hello everyone, it's Bobby K, and welcome to Haunt Build. Last time I said part four. This is part five. Not the last one. This is part five. I can't believe I'm already at five. This is actually crazy. So after five entire haunt build. We finally have some walls up. This hallway is actually completely dark. This is probably about how it's going to be in the actual haunt. Um, you can't see that guy at the end as well as you can in person. You can see him a little bit better in person, but this is a completely black hallway. Uh, the plastic on this, I, we were actually supposed to have it. You can't even see it, but uh, you were actually supposed to have. We were actually supposed to have it out on this side. But, um, we made a mistake and put it on the wrong side, so it's on that side now. But it's dark, so, and most people are paying attention to this guy, so it doesn't really matter. So, you round this corner. He doesn't have batteries yet. You can't even see him, but Devil Door Knocker. Um, I'll put a picture of him up on screen right now, but he is there. Now, just know that there will be more lighting in here. I do plan to have a big yellow beacon light like a yellowish orange beacon light shining on the crypt keeper and i'm gonna get like some cave backdrops from here to look like the crypt um and i'm gonna use the uh the um the foam and like the, the like the styrofoam and spray paint technique for this wall probably i was hopefully planning to do that for the entire crypt but sadly i don't have enough foam to do that so i'll have to i'm having to get banners i did find two on amazon and i sent them to my dad so hopefully he will uh decide to you know purchase them and then we'll uh, get them here i thought i saw a piece of that broken on him but never mind um anyways uh this is crypt keeper's desk um on here i do plan to uh i do have the jack the reaper statue uh actually at my school we were were supposed to bring in an item to draw for art class and like we're supposed to like draw it in all pencil and like do shading really good and stuff so i brought in the jack the reaper statue so that's where he is right now but when i do get him home i do plan to put him on this table along with the bone phone uh, the bat statue, some candelabras, the big lamp, and uh, I, I, I do know I'm not gonna have these uh, lights on. They're quite bright. Like, well, obviously I want it bright in here right now, but like they're not really bright. They're just blinding, really blinding. Like they're so bright, they're hard to look at. Uh, turn them off there. I want that uh, there because there's an orange bulb in there. Uh, it looks a lot more orangey on part in person, and as opposed to like the the whitish it looks on camera, it is actually like a pure orange, and it, it looks a lot cooler. Um, but we we do have those huge beak, like those huge like headlights almost on right now, so that's why you can uh, see so much and so well. On this wall, I, I might put like some sort of sign, I'm not sure, as I, I did put that guy in the cage up there. Uh, I may put some sort of sign on here, and I do plan to run a strip of plastic and just cut strips in it that people walk through. And then um, my dad said he's going to order the beam sensor from Spirit. We may have to put another thing on this wall right here, and but we're going to hook it to Mr. Dark. Um, so as soon as somebody trips that, boom, he flies up. Then... Uh, the actual board for the wall we took out for now, I guess. I, I don't even know where it is. I think that might be it right there, actually. I, I'm not sure. Um, and then, you know, you go into the spider section. And, you know, we're going to mount the jumping spiders on the wall here. Clown section, nothing much has really changed. Um, twitchy. Where did I say I was going to put Twitchy? Oh, I think Twitchy in that room. Uh, this guy over there. Spiders. Spiders are over here, actually, right now. They will be on that wall. I'm not sure where the wolf spider, I think that's his name, will be. Uh, but in the spider room, obviously. Possibly on the ceiling, who knows. Uh, ticket guy. All the same. Oh! If I hadn't filmed, I wouldn't have even remembered that this was open. 
I'm glad I decided to film. <laughs> um, so still saying, Demonica's not staying here, obviously. She's just here for now. Demonica goes all in that corner, and they crawl all that stuff, you know, you know, you know. Uh, there's going to be a wall here. We're gonna, be, we're gonna have this all done by, like, Wednesday of next week. I don't know if I want to split this into two haunt builds or what, but... Uh, we have Skeleton Santa still here. Uh, these guys, I just moved them over here for now because we were gonna put all the boards there. So, uh, you know, you enter here, like usual. I'll probably hang something on this wall. I did want to hang on this wall, uh, on either side of the entrance, the sconces. I don't know where the dragon sconces went, but they're in, oh, they're over there. Um, but yes, uh, and then you enter here, Levitator Girl there. Uh, and then the, I want to get like some sort of wood backdrop for this room. Same with in here, and um, like like this side over here. Honestly, I got a Christmas backdrop for last year for like our Christmas display. I may just use that, and or maybe I'll put that to behind them and have it start to wrap around. And then on this wall, maybe on that wall, I'll just have the star shower laser light snowflakes uh, going down, and then. On this wall, I want to have the wood because it's gonna supposed to be a cabin, um, and then right there, I'm probably gonna have a wreath. And then, yep, yeah, in here. Uh, now, I was planning on putting Bloodthirsty Betty in the corner, but I don't know how I would actually put her in the corner. I'm not exactly sure how I would be able to mount her in the corner, so I believe I'm gonna put her on this wall. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna like do that, like like how like how well no i know exactly how i'm gonna do it i'm just going to um screw her to the wood but um like how she's gonna activate because i want her in the position where her head is up and her feet are near the ground um so that she like launches back um because it launches really fast i don't know if i want her all the way up there or what but I'm almost sure she will not activate if, because the sensor's in her shoulder. Unless I somehow, like, rip the sensor off, which, I don't know how it's attached. It may just be hot glue. Um, I could just relocate it and just have it hanging out of the bottom of her, and I could, like, I don't know, just tape it on the wall right below her. That could work. I don't know how how long the wire is, though. I'm not, I'm not sure about any of that stuff. So, I will have to figure it out. But, um, yeah, that's the end Chuck. For right now, he, Chuck is just good chilling here. Uh, I'll have to bring him out to the, grave, not the graveyard, but into the garage pretty soon. Ooh. Oh, you can't see me. Oh, you can. Hi. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, there's no extra things built out here, so nothing really I'm gonna talk about over here, but that is the update for the inside of the haunt. And I do believe that, like, by, like, the end, towards the end of this week, we will have the, like, almost, like, all of the walls on the inside of the tent built. Therefore, after that, I will go absolutely crazy getting all the stuff in its spots, putting up all the decorations, all the backdrops, and all the garland in this room, all the banners and clown stuff in these, roo the these rooms and this room and stuff. And um, then, you know, all, all the stuff, as you can see, I already started putting up the stuff in Crypt Keeper's room, as you saw before. Um, but yeah, all that stuff gonna go up as soon as I possibly can and therefore I can actually get this place open as soon as I possibly can if I can I will love I would love to get this open a tad before Halloween so that we can actually have people come through before Halloween um I, I feel like that would allow for a lot more people to stop through uh because I don't know. I, I don't know. I just have a feeling that that would, like, if, if we're open for a couple of weeks and we're, like, completely available for, like, two weeks at night, not open every night, but, like, if somebody says, yo, I want to stop by tonight, can you open up for me for, like, an hour? Like, that, I, that would be perfect. 
I would love to do that. That's just depending on whether we get this stuff done in time or not. But that is all for right now. I will update you on this tomorrow because we are going to be putting up more walls tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. And if not, I will continue on the Crypt Keeper room. But I'm pretty sure. Well, I will continue on the Crypt Keeper room either way. I hope to have everything pretty much besides like the backdrops and stuff. I hope to have that done tomorrow. Because uh, there's not really much really else to add. I want to get some sort of table for right there. Because I got some other stuff to put that needs to go near Crypt Keeper. But other than that, hopefully that will be done to uh, tomorrow. So... And then I can move on to probably the spider section will be the next, the next area that we do. I'm not sure if we're going to be building this room tomorrow. If we do, if we do build this room, I, wait, I think my dad said that we, we, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but like doing this wall, this wall, or do we want to do like this wall as one? No, I think we wanted to do this wall and two panels. And then this wall and two panels. That'll leave this room this room. And then if we do that wall, then pretty much the entire clown section is done. And the clowns are what I'm really gonna go crazy on decorating together, oh my god, and stuff. So maybe I'll even stream it, who knows? Because like the clowns, the clowns are like what everybody loves. This is the of most people recognize my haunts as a clown haunt. I'm not a fully clown haunt. I, I don't know where that came from. It was probably because the first year I did YouTube back in 2022, I did do a full clown haunt. I turned all my other props into clowns uh, and I everything was clowns except for the graveyard. If you haven't seen my 2022 haunt, that may sound interesting to you. Feel free to go check it out. Um, but yeah, um, so basically, yeah, like I'm trying to limit the clowns actually a little bit. I am trying to limit them to make them like a smaller section because I don't want half of our haunt to be clowns. That's why there's going to be like nine of them out in the back. Um, anyways, I'm rambling. I know I'm getting boring. Probably. Maybe. I should get to bed. Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow. See you then. Alright, it is the next day. As you can see, I'm not in the hall. I'm in my room. Uh, my dad and I are about to head out to Spirit to pick up the beam sensor for Mr. Dark right now. So, I will see you when I get back home. See you then. Well, no, I might, I, I might film in Spirit. I don't, I don't know. I, I... We just got back from Spear, got two beam sensors. Uh, we just got the other one because, you know, we may need it on something else this year or in the future. Sorry, it's getting a little dark. It's dark over there when I don't have the light on. It's really dark coming in here. It's a lot lighter on camera, but. Yep, so we're gonna start building more walls and stuff and we'll see you probably later tonight. Or maybe a little update after, I'm not sure. I usually never film from this angle. I'm grandpa trying to take a selfie. All right, so it is actually the day after the next day here. It is still dark. We didn't do anything today because it was just a bad, bad day. I woke up feeling like I swallowed a piece of gravel. So I didn't go to school because there was a stinging pain in my throat. There, you can finally see the devil door knocker. Um, Party, the pale girl crapped all over this wall. I'll have to clean it. I'll just get like a wet rag and wipe it down or something. Anyways, um, I don't believe this room has changed very much, if at all. Oh, I put the skeletons down there. And these guy hanging here, hanging out. Ha ha ha, get it? Because he's ha -ha, hanging out. Ha, ha, ha. So nothing really different here. Oh, I don't know if that gargoyle was on the back of his chair last time you saw it but this is different 
We didn't put plastic on the walls. It's just framing right now, but it is the rest of this side. So, well, almost, almost. Um, Mr. Dark here, if we did test him, I would activate him, but it's a, it's a, a wee bit late. So, you know, unless we did build a small wall right here, which I'll definitely decorate with like some, then these are all just temporarily put together because we take them down to put the plastic on them. Uh, we're trying to make this look as good as possible. We're gonna just uh, zip them apart and put them in the shed so we can just rearrange the panels in a different way next year instead of having to build all new, all new ones. But um, yeah, Mr. Dark here, we got our little, I think it's 33 inch by 33 inch. Um, I'll decorate that all, obviously after we tarp it, we'll put, I'm gonna put like white creepy cloth on there, I think. So Mr. Dark, and we got the whole spider room. Uh, we still need to put the boards in for the actual spiders on the wall. But then, uh, Mr. Biggie Spider, I think it's the Wolf Spider is his name, but I, I, I don't know exactly where he's gonna go yet. We're thinking about putting the, the this guy here, um, just so people are forced to go towards Ringmaster. Also, I did figure out the lighting for a lot of this, because my mom said that she would cover lighting this year. So, um... I will tell you, we're going to have a, uh, a yellow spotlight. Well, it's actually going to be a floodlight, but it's going to be in a thing that makes it look like a spotlight right on Crypt Keeper. Hopefully, it'll shine into the other areas of the room and light it up a little bit. We do have this, which, like I said, we're not going to be putting those on. Just the one in there. Uh, on Mr. Dark, like I said, we get the beam sensor. Um... Mr. Dark, there's gonna be a strobe light on him probably coming down from there or something. And then in this room, it's gonna be the other strobe light because we have two. Uh, this room, I'm not exactly sure. I hope this is gonna have to be all the light we need for this room because um, I don't really want to fill this room with too, too much light because of Frank Master's projection. I don't want it to get overshadowed. Um, but I want the, I, I want to like take the other yellow light because they all come in two packs. I'll take the other light and like shine it up behind him, ha have him like be like backlit. Um, I don't know, something like that. Then you turn into this room, crouchy. Oh, so yeah, here's all these walls. This isn't actually a wall yet. This is just here. This is where wall will be, but yeah, uh, Twitchy, he's gonna be over in that room. Not moved into his spot yet, because he can't stand, but Crouchy, gonna put a red light on him. Um, not sure if any of these columns will be lit, or if it'll just, well, as in, like, Dagger Mike, who will be here, uh, Dark Jester, and then, uh, Henry. I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to actually have any specific lighting on them because, one, I don't really want them look like right down at their feet. And the only other way that I could really light them would be from that side. And that's where everyone's looking, so it'll really take away from this display because it's going to blind them because it's going to be shining this way at them. So I don't think they're going to be really, really lit from anything else. It'll just be like background light that they're lit from. Uh... So, yeah, as for the outside, this side I think I'm gonna have lit by a blue light, and it'll have the red coming off from Crouchy as well, and then this side is gonna be lit by a completely red light. And on both Wacky Wall and Hugs, I will mount uh, the, uh, the black lights. I have two of those, like, good black lights that a lot of people got sponsored by earlier this year. I'm gonna put a white light on um on art then going into this room i think we're just gonna have it lit by those spiral lights i think we're definitely gonna put some some spiraler spy, spiral lights in here as well but mostly in this room a, a good black light would be neat on teary but meh then um you enter here the laboratory i think I, I tested this light i think it's enough 
for the lab. Um, and I think I, I, I think I may leave Nightcrawler's lights unplugged. I, I don't know. The, the room might need it though for lighting. I'm not sure. But um, then going in here, skeleton Santa. I think this room will be good enough as long as I just um string the Christmas lights on the walls like I was planning on. And then Skeleton Santa's eyes are really bright as well. So they will, um, they'll serve as a lighting source as well. And I think I'm going to have those Star Shower Laser Light Snowflakes shining on him and the tree. So and then this room, I'm just going to have probably only one rusty attic light. Because I remember the other one is down in, the other two are down over there. So maybe I will actually try to get another one. Um, maybe I'll try to get another one, either that, or I'll just deal with the one, or take one out of there. That's, like, my three options. Um, like I said, I'd love to see Biddy on the wall. I was considering putting a red light on her. Probably not, but maybe. It was an idea for out here. Uh, I'm, like we did last year, I'm gonna go up there. I'll take out those bulbs where my dad will. And we will take out those bulbs and replace them with red bulbs. Red bulbs like that. And that, that'll that just light this entire area up. And the actual only reason that, that I even got into lighting was because while I was moving the light to make this path, moving the light closer to him, I accidentally snapped the bulb. You, you heard me. I, I snapped it right out of the socket. She's like, you know, it's screwed into the socket. And the bulb is attached to the thing you screw in. It's obviously not, like, really bolted on there. So I snapped it right off when I was pushing it in the ground. Um, because it's not really much to grab onto. It looks so freaking cool. I, <laughs> sorry. Um, but I don't know if I said this, but I did adjust Predator's arms so that even going over here, you pretty much, like, right there, you will be walking under his arm. So, and it's high enough that I don't believe anyone's gonna hit it. It's at least, like, almost seven feet, at, at least seven feet in the air, just about. Honestly, over here, I may want to test these going on, because they may be a bit bright for over here. I may just want just want the the red and green spotlights but skelly bones and skelly bones as you know this guy i'll go in that corner in there pontress i don't know if i'm gonna put a, a light on her probably not but hey she, she can just be lit i feel like she's better being like a creature of the dark where you don't even really realize and then over here at the front I'm planning on having one, um, one light on either side of the sign, but like sort of like this, so like down here, so like they're pointing at the sign, and they're also pointing at the front of the tent, so we have like actual like light on there, and then wherever Zombie Swing Girl is, I want to put a white light on her as well. I feel like that would look the best. I know a lot of people say do not use white lighting. But it, it can suit some areas, in my opinion. It can suit some areas quite well. But, uh, yeah. And then, I'm not even, I'm still not sure where I want to put Holland Spirit. Maybe in the graveyard somewhere, but, like, where? Actually, in this spot may not look the worst. Meh. Because he's sort of locking Howling Spirit there. I mean, not Howling Spirit, Bone Collector. He is Howling Spirit. But, um... I don't know. Maybe maybe over there, like I was saying originally. I don't know if I'd want to shove him back into the trees or if I'd want to move him forward a little bit. Uh, I don't know. It should look okay. But, yeah. So... All right, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else for me to say, so bye for now.
I'll update you to pop tomorrow because we're gonna put the uh, stuff on the walls. All right, bye. See you then. All right, so I don't quite remember the last time I filmed, but I do seem to remember what was new since the last time we filmed. So you will notice there are some new things. Um, this room is clear of the entire mess. Actually, oh crap, I should be keeping his adapter off the ground it is, as it is supposed to rain tomorrow morning early because, and this is like the first time we're having the tent out as it rains. So we're not sure if water's going to get in the tent or anything or what's really going to happen with that. So we're trying to keep all the electronics off the ground. Um, like animatronics can stay on the like where they are, but like all their adapters and stuff, I'm trying to pick off up the ground, off the ground, especially if it's around the edges of the, the you know the tent. So Crypt Keeper here. This uh, table right now is really just a jumble of stuff that I'm gonna have in this room under there. That's actually a box. Some of that stuff I'm gonna have in here. Some of it is just other random stuff. So I should sort that out tomorrow. But uh, I'm still going to. We still didn't get the um those backdrops I need to measure my dad told me to measure to make sure they would fit in here so yeah um then this uh this panel actually this is gonna go right here so you saw that in the last clip but I just moved it back for now because we're leaving it like off for now just because we want it we we, we want to be able to get in and out of this area and then I, I think what we may honestly before we open like I'll pro I want to just like pro I probably we'll just probably keep it back there and then right before we open I'll just come in here screw it on and then bottom he's fine um like just in case we ever need to get in there again because as you can see like his weights are right there and stuff and then the lights up in front so all that is still there so uh but yeah like so these all are new panels uh, I started on the spider room Obviously, I didn't. There, there is tarp here and stuff, but yes. So, oh, also, I did want to say, we put up beams here, and I do. There's another jumping spider still in the garage, the red and black one, and we are going to be putting them up here, or up here, like like that. So, gonna be two on here, just right next to each other. That's why this is here, so that because we didn't want to put a wall here, but we wanted something here so that when you come into this room, you can't just go straight here because we didn't want somebody to get just whacked in the head with a spider. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a, what did I, step right up. I drew that on and like, oh Jesus. My friend, it is like almost 10 o'clock at night. Why are you doing that? Um, I must have drew that on back in like 2021. I can try to pull it off, but all right, not a job for right now, but it does come off pretty easy. It's just black, white paint. So, um, yeah, um, I don't think this is staying here. I don't know where exactly I want to put that jumping spider. It could be on the wall somewhere. It could just be there on the ground. He may stay there. I did put that guy up on the ceiling, which I do think we're probably going to do just like normal stretchy spider web on the ceiling and not like the backdrop. Um, if we do spider web the ceiling, which hopefully... We do. Um, my mom is really good at spider webbing, so she she doesn't like to do it very much. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. There's the rest of our backdrop, which I'm gonna do this wall in, and then I'll put the jumping spiders on the wall. I think I'm actually gonna put the jumping spiders on first because I don't want like all this showing. I'll cover that in the backdrop. I'll just cut a little hole around it. So then over here we have. You know, all these guys, these are all the same guys that are going to go out in the back. Um, plus, poor George and T Two Scoops is in here. He's just in the wheelbarrow still. Haven't gotten his weld fixed yet. But, um, Ringmaster is in his spot. Actually, the ticket guy right there, he's going to probably go right here. So, so, this is the wall we don't have built up yet. But, yeah. So, Twitchy. Twitchy's going in that room over there. Uh, Crouchy's in his spot. Obviously, this is gonna be rolled up, but, you know. So, Art is here in his normal spot. Uh, I still really, I, there's apparently, there's no little pale girls in Connecticut, and there haven't been at all. So, that sucks. Like, at any of the party cities in Connecticut, which is the state I live in, 
So that sucks. I um. I still uh, though the only thing is that kind of gives me a shine of hope because I thought like they just are already stocked up and they just sold out already. This kind of gives me a hope that they may still get stock of her. Let me just pull that up. But um yeah. So hopefully they do buy Halloween, which would be ideal. I do have Party City. I I, I will be contacted as soon as any party cities in the state do get her in because one of my friends who also wants little pale girl to go with his art um uh you, you know he went around to all the party cities and he put down his phone number for pale girl and he put down two for each because he knew i would have wanted one too so w friend anyways um Bloody bag of jokes. I gotta move Peekaboo into his spot. Let me just see yeah, his adapters off the ground. Clown on stilts. I finally snipped his mouth wire because, as you as you may know, a lot of the clown on stilts actually have a common issue where their mouth movement, the the motor for their mouth, shorts out, and it the it, you know it like weighs down on the rest of him like on the audio the eyes the arm movement it weighs down on all of that just because the mouth is trying to suck that much power because it has a short in it so i just snipped the mouth wire and that fixed the problem it is quite a task to get in there you just have to peel the glue from the latex on the plastic and then unscrew the little plate that keeps his head on and then go in there and then there's a little wire you need to snip for the mouth uh stimpy's still here nothing's really changed for him teary is still here nothing has also changed for him then this area is still got the same plan just i moved all of the stuff over into here all the stuff that was there hi demonica ah. anyways um beam sensors were still on levitator's table and yeah that's uh pretty much it just got this stuff here you know the boxes that's got backdrops in it that's actually where i got the spider backdrop from um this death crawler some of these guys are actually still going to be over here they're just moving out of the way because you know that um but yeah so that is all for today so really i don't i think that was up already but then uh you know, we added, this panel we added five, so one, two, three, that little one was four, he count, we counted that one, and then what was the fifth one? Maybe, oh, this is two panels. Yeah, five, so that, and then on the other side, that's two panels, so, okay, so yeah, those are the five we put up today, so, um, yeah, I'm not sure, I may end the haunt build here, depending on what we do tomorrow, um, I don't even know if we're gonna be planning on doing anything in here tomorrow, if we're not, then I'll probably just continue to, you know, build the spider rooms, put the spiders on the wall and stuff. I'll just include that into that in this haunt build. But if we build more walls, I think I am gonna split it into another haunt build. So, um, yeah. All right, so, um, as you can hear, we did some of our, like, final work on some of the sections up here. As you can see, we've added lighting. Um, I don't know if we want to keep that bulb on. I'll definitely see it at the end but this is where this ends i do like it because it lets you see him a bit more crib keeper i still have a ladder and the light in here um this is still sort of a mess but i took some of this on off of here i am keeping the terror tv over here and i made this stand i um yes that's the beam sensor on there but um Yes, this, uh, I just put the 2 by 4s on there, you know, screwed it on, did all that, then, um, you know, Mr. Keeper, his stuff, I still need to get the candles put up there, that's pushed right up against the wall, so, you know, I'll probably just move his chair a tad forward, 
to make sure that those don't turn. But uh, yeah, all the stuff here. Oh, didn't even see that. But yeah, now um, I did tell my dad that those banners I I, me I measured and told my dad that they did fit because I do. And hopefully he ordered them and they'll be here soon. Um, so yeah, I'll. Dad, I, I just had to fix that wall. But um, yes, yeah, so this. Uh, this I put up here. One of the banners is gonna go over here, and then one of them is gonna go behind Crypt Keeper. I'll have to roll it around the wall because it actually was a tad long. But now I did put some creepy cloth up here, and yes, this is the beam sensor. Ooh, I think I may have to push that on there a bit better. But uh, this is the beam. See that, or not the beam, but the wire is not out of the way. I need to do that. But uh, I'm gonna. I'll trip Mr. Dark because he is on. I had quite a bit of trouble with that actually. The beam sensor did give me quite the trouble, which is sad, but what are you gonna do? I would just like to add that the clicking sound you hear coming from Mr. Dark is actually just a creaking of the scissor mech and the mechanism is not actually broken. There's nothing wrong with, with the mechanism. I just need to spray some WD-40 on his mechanism. So, I'm not going to sit here while he goes on. This wall still is not screwed in. Um, I haven't put the uh, stuff on it yet either. I'll probably put the stuff on it. And I, I, and I did put backdrop back here, by the way. This is what we had in like the Harvester of Souls where we meant stuff last year. So in here, nothing is really changed. We're going to mount the spiders today, but we didn't have the right washers to do it. Because um, we were going to use washers to make sure that it didn't rip through the plastic or anything. Um... I do need to still move this over this way a tad because we want to make sure that people go this way. And my dad said, because he looked from over here, I don't want to set Mr. Dark off again, so I'm not going to go too far back. But he said from like where he looked, he felt someone may just try to run through here because, you know, Mr. Dark scares him. Blah, run! Um, and we don't obviously want anybody to get hit in the head with the spiders. It is raining right now quite a bit. So this room is still, I think this is, the same I don't remember if these were all moved in here last time you saw it but um yeah this room I think I'm just gonna use that kind of bulb and light it it looks like a bit different on camera they look really carnival-y these are almost the same lights that are in the carnival ISE um so I'm definitely gonna just string the rest of this strand around and I'll move I'll use a different a different strand to go down the other side and then other than this we just the only difference is really the lights other than that, I gotta take my sweatshirt in. Um, but other than that, it is literally all the same. I'm not gonna waste their time going through the layout again. But uh, there's the other beam sensor. The beam sensor did, get, did give me quite the issue. I genuinely don't like how it is. Because for one, there is no way to mount it. No bracket, no holes, nothing. You can't hang it on a nail, nothing, nada. Oh, something tripped him. All right, so it is the next day. I am gonna do more today. I sort of realized, you know, it's a build video. I should build things in between instead of like just doing an update every day. So uh, maybe I should do some more time lapses too. So this guy, he's actually on there, but um, nothing extra really. We mounted the um, the beam sensor in a more permanent spot, so now it's not going to shake that much unless somebody obviously, you know, you know hits yes, Crypt Keeper's chair. I'm not going to do that right there, because right now, because I don't really want that to, you know, I don't want him to mess up or anything. Nothing over here. I, um, I'm going to clean this up today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put any liquid in there. Yeah, I'll probably get it set up just so it's a, that it's ready. And then when I'm ready, I'll just pour water in it and food coloring and, you know, the whole thing. Um, those skeletons are going to go somewhere. I don't know exactly where. But um, it actually, I, I, I'll go into this later. There are more than three phrases on the Crypt Keeper that... 
allude to him being a cannibalistic mummy. So we already have this guy in the cage. I have another. I have that guy down there. I don't know if he's gonna stay there, but in a freaking tomb, he's trapped. And we have another guy in a cage that is gonna go in here, but I haven't put him in here yet. So may as well. So I I, I will go into this a bit later. May as well just have a bunch of skeletons behind, like all trapped up in this room. That would be pretty cool, I think. Um, anyways, uh, I'll trip the beam sensor right now, going into Mr. Dark. So, there we go, this room is, still got backdrop I need to put up. We did mount, we mounted the spiders on one of the spiders there, and then the other two are up here. I did shut them off because they're very annoying. I'm about to put up the backdrop, and I wanted to, uh, obviously I need to get behind them. Uh, can I like do like can I like block that no they're a lot less blue on camera they're more black but um yeah there's a little bit of finishing to this room to do and then obviously the rest is just about the same but another thing that I did want to show was over here we got these. Now, you may be wondering, Bobbathin, Bobbathin, Bobby, what are these? Well, yeah, I'm glad you asked. Now, my dad has a friend who works at the dump a couple towns over. Now, apparently they were getting rid of a police car. And when something like that happens, when they throw out a police car, they rip out all of the stuff from the inside. These are the bars that go in the back windows. Now, my dad, they were, they were going to be thrown away, so my dad took them. And I think this is what I'm going to use to cage off that spider area. Either that, or I was thinking I'll zip tie them up around Demonica and have Dem I'll zip tie her hands to like the top of it so it looks like she's rising out of it in the laboratory um that could actually be a pretty cool idea but um I'm thinking somehow in Crypt Keeper's room I can incorporate those and have the skeletons those two skeletons behind them <laughs> There's people that are going to be get terrified by him. The only problem is, he sets off the jumping spiders. And we want the jumping spiders to go off while they're over here. So, it's sad. It's sad that that's how it is. I don't know if there's any way to fix that. But, if anyone has any ideas besides buying like three more beam sensors, then uh, be my guest to tell me in the comments. Because... I'd like to know if there's a way. And it's not just Mr. Dark's volume that's setting it off, because his volume's almost all the way down right now. It's the sound of his mechanism when he... Oh, that thing just hit me in the freaking face. <laughs> it keeps swinging around. Sad. Um, It's the sound of his mechanism when he jumps up. So that sets them off. Which then, in turn, when somebody comes through here, these spiders are already jumped down. Um... Now, obviously, it could line up differently, like, maybe by the time Mr. Dark jumps, there's already part of the crowd in here, and then they jump at him. But we'd like to get people to have both of the scares right next to each other. So, the another thing I did, I did think, if we have just, like, an actor disguised in this room, maybe we could, like, throw him behind spider webs. Actually... That would be cool if we could just have a chair right here behind, under this spider and then have it all covered in spider webs and just have somebody back here like getting completely mangled in spider webs and they're like just screaming. Ah! I, I really I really don't like when um when people use actors to be victims and they're like, oh my god, he's gonna kill me because that's not scary, that's just weird. Like, it may not make sense for something to be, like, even a dead body to, to jump up and scare you. But, like, okay. If he's busy killing you, then how's he gonna kill me? If I just run, he can't get, he can't get me. Uh, so, um, 
Yeah, I like to use logic in my haunts rather than the popular, ah, ah, he's gonna kill me. But this is an exception to that because the actor will, you know, actually be, would actually be in here with a multi-prop remote activating each spider, which an idea, but uh, I don't know. Just that they would just they would they would be a very boring job. They'd just have to sit here and wait for people to come through and just tick 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 get them all going. Cause I have enough. I definitely have enough spider. We could even actually could put one on Ringmaster to get him going while they're still in this room. And um and so that when they walk in here after the spiders that he's almost, um, that he's almost to his, you know, his lean back activation thing. But, I don't know, um, I'm gonna start on this wall with the backdrop now, and I think I'm gonna time lapse it, because it's a build video, not an update video. I'll show you my side, I'll show you me building it, you know, yeah. It's 11 p.m. outside right now. I'm tired. Done a lot of work. As you can see, we got strings hanging from the skeletal wrists. Um, I hung this skeleton up here. Um, you know, I did those there. There's, a, there's one in the middle. I was gonna do it with fishing line, and I actually did do it with fishing line. And I just let him go, and it snapped. Uh, I caught him before he fell, but. So, I tried to do it with fishing line. It was supposed to look like he was flying, or just like levitating above you, but I'm gonna have to use like actual string. You, I, you can't really see that middle, I mean only if you look for it, if you look off to the side you can see it, but nobody's really gonna be doing that. Um, but yeah, the reason that these strings aren't anywhere is because uh, when we plastic this side, I'm gonna just attach those strings up onto there and I don't want that to interfere with anything so because like I, I obviously yeah these are supposed to be posed and stay but like it's just gonna fall down so like I, I I don't want that to be too low I don't want people to I don't want people to when they reach up I don't want them to be able to touch him um it's just to make sure that he is out of everybody's way uh but yeah that is on the ceiling Anyways, straight ahead we have Mr. Mr. This guy. Um, we have the crypt, which is pretty much done. Um, it, oh, I actually had to fix the terror TV. I put it in, and the face wasn't coming out. The um, the motor got stuck. I had to spin it a little bit. So what I what I did was um I I obviously I opened up the back of it and then um I'm gonna wait till that okay I don't really want that to go again but it's probably going to but uh yeah I opened up the back of it I'll be all right I opened it up it opens in like the middle and um, the uh, the motor I had to unscrew the motor as well from there. I started to open the gearbox, but uh, then I will obviously I have to take the belt off before I do that. So I'm like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me spin the motor from there. And I spun it and it worked and I moved the gears around a bit and they worked. And um, I, I uh, turned it back on and the, um, 
the uh, motor started to turn so then I was able to put it back all together and started working again he um it, it, it worked fine before just the head wasn't coming out because if you don't know the whole gimmick with this is that this is a mesh cloth and then a face emerges from it and the face wasn't coming out and really the thing is like with this you can open it up and you can replace that face with anything you want really realistically you could just open it up you could like slap a spider on there you could slap a clown mask on there you can slap pretty much anything on there that you want as long as it's not sticking through before it activates but um yeah so yeah pretty neat uh just skull I don't want to activate it again. It's probably going to. I'll just take one of the batteries out if it does. But I actually didn't. Um, this guy up here. I do have the other guy in the cage, which I do need to put right here. I think I'm just going to put him right here. Sticking out of the middle. Zip tie on the ground. Zip tie on the ground. Throw that up there. Uh, Crypt Keeper. Yes, I, I don't have any animatronic audios on, which is, well, any that I can avoid having on. That's just Crypt Keeper and Mr. Dark, so... You won't hear their audios, but they're they're going. Annoying with their audio on, but uh, Mr. Dark, I've been trying to activate him the least amount as possible, but it's sort of unavoidable. My dad, uh, uh, my dad got the sensor. He put it over there because we wanted to move it a bit back farther because like it was like a little bit farther forward before, and um, he takes a second to go, so. We wanted him to be able to go as people were walking up. So, yep. Then in here, I still have the tripod from that time lapse, which I did just cut off from. So, sorry I didn't really update you up for that. But, yeah, so, got the spiders up here. They're off. That one's on. But I'm not going to activate it because the audio is on. Because the, the spiders' audios don't go down. Um got the backdrop up and that is I think all the other that's all of the stuff I did in here I believe now then um in here the only thing different I believe is we opened this up so I mean obviously it's not staying open but I gotta bring it with back out to the shed and stuff I decided to leave it open before I started filming just so we'd have some different atmosphere back here for once and so that you can yet again picture all the clowns back here. Okay, then, um, uh, I need little pale girl. I need little pale girl. Art, do you, do you know where she went? You know what happens to Emily Crane? No? Okay. Damn it. Anyways. Um, nothing's really changed in here. Uh, I did decide that I don't think I'm going to use those police cages in, um, in the, in the uh, Crypt Keeper room. Uh, the other skeleton, I had two of them. I'm not going to go too far. I don't want to activate dark. Damn it. That guy's going. But, uh, the other one I'm going to put out in the front hallway so that... It's not going to be, like, in the actual haunt, because I literally spent, like, 15 minutes trying to find a spot for it. Same with the other one. I did think that I wanted one up there. I was like, oh, that'd be pretty funny. It was, it was one of those ideas where you think, hey, you know, it's, you know, it's... Uh, I want, I, it'd be pretty cool if I, it, or it'd be like, it'd be, it's pretty funny if I did that, and then you actually do it, so it, it, it was just like one of those scenarios, so, um, then my dad isn't home tomorrow, like I said, he's not home on Saturdays, today is Friday, almost not, but <laughs> the plan for tomorrow, when I get up, I'm gonna move all the stuff for the graveyard, it is all going out tomorrow. I'm plugging it in bright and early. And we're going to be all out there all day. Um, probably Sunday too. Not sure about that. But probably. 
then on um and then in here i'm gonna open this up i'm gonna move all the clowns out or all the clowns that are going out there out then i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start on this room i'll start stringing around these lights i may start the red and white whatever i'm gonna put here i may like like for the entrance i may put here uh, and I will get this room going. The only thing that's not going to be in the room is the back wall, which that's like the main problem, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so that is, oh, also forgot to, that, that's pretty much the plan. Uh, actually, let me finish over here first. Uh, I may put red and white on this wall as well. I'm not exactly sure where this wall's going to end, but, and I'll come up with like a more defined plan and then I do also have to move all this stuff towards this wall just so that we can get in here and do the rest of the ceiling as well um, and then uh, my dad said that what he's thinking is by next Thursday we will have the entirety of the walls done and after that is just electrical and decorating and lighting and at that point that is my go time uh like i i will be going crazy on the haunt at that time and as soon as i'm done hopefully well hopefully before i'm done we'll be starting on the outside with like, you know, the, the wall and everything. And then, then, and only then, am I gonna start um, opening. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm able to open. It'd be a dream if I was able to open like October 15th or something. That'd be so cool. If I could just open up from like, 6 to like 9.30 on the weekends. Not even on the weekends, but like Friday and Saturday. Um, maybe Friday, Saturday, and then... I'm also thinking to have like appointment-only sessions where like... You're like... It's, it's light out. We'll have lights on. No props on. And that like little kids and... They, they can just take like a guided tour through... And like, we'll like walk you through, explain everything, and that that way they can like determine oh whether you want to come back or not. Anyways, I'm going. I, 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 if you're wondering why, I, how I'm thinking of all this so fast, I'm not. I've literally had this in my head for months. So, yeah. Um, I may actually. I don't know. I was going to say, I may actually open the graveyard tomorrow and have, let people walk through it, but I don't know about that, because the, entr like, the entrance slash exit, whatever way you want to go, depending on, is right near our house. If it both entered and exited near the street, then yeah, I don't care. But that, no, I'm, I don't think I'd want to do that. So... Yeah, let's, um, I'll, I'll stop this here. I've been rambling for quite some time. My feet are tired. As you can see, it's past 11. All the stuff is off out there. Um, actually, should I move Howling Spirit tomorrow? I don't know. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wait for him for a little bit further towards Halloween. Because I do think, I'm thinking... The weekend before Halloween, which I'm not sure the dates, but the weekend before Halloween, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, like, take out all the props that I'm putting outside, and I'm going to, like, so, like, weatherproof them, w w weatherproof and air quotes, but, and then just stick them all outside, and if it rains, then I'm going to try to bring them in, but... If not, then we're good. They're gonna stay out. And 
uh, the Highland Spirit I already did. Soon Scarecrow, actually, I, I literally didn't do anything for him, and it's only rained, like, twice since I put him up. He's been fine. One time, the first time I had a bag on him, the second time, there was just nothing on him. He's fine on the porch. Like, I, I, honestly, leaving props under the porch is underrated. I'm gonna say this right now. Howling Spirit is secured down. I never even secured Sitting Scarecrow down. I was going to. I just didn't. I haven't had any problems with people trying to steal him. Hey, granted, he's very close to the house, but... Keeping props on the porch, very underrated move. Do it more often. Definitely something I'm going to try to do next year. I'm not sure with what props, but... I'd like to do it for Christmas, actually, with Yoda and maybe Skeleton Santa. But uh, it gets cold. Anyways, that is going to be all for today. I'm going to see y'all in the morning, bright and early. I'll have to see what sign the sun rises tomorrow. I'm gonna set it for the exact time. Exact. There, therefore, I can be accurate with my bright and early measurement. And I'm gonna wake up, have some. Oh my god, I'm just getting back memories. Remember that, like, those, I don't remember exactly what they were called, but they were cereals. Halloween branded cereal, not branded, but Halloween cereals. It was like Booberry Crunch, and there was a, I think it was like Scary Strawberry. Oh my god, I'm just getting, <clears throat> now I want it. I don't know if they make that stuff anymore, though. Um, did you hear that? What the hell was that? It sounded like a friggin' goat. Like, you know how, like, they have, like, dogs' heads sticking out a window sometimes? It sounded like they freaking had a, a goat that was high on crack stick his head on the window and go, <laughs> What was that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, that's gonna... Ugh. If I don't get murdered by that d demon that just passed by my house, that's going to be for all for today. Um, and yeah, I'll wake up bright and early. Have some not blueberry crunch cereal. I'll probably have like a... I don't know. I don't know. Anybody want to make me breakfast? And drive on down to my house for me breakfast. Somebody? No? Okay. Anyways. I'll, uh... I don't know. I'll figure something out. Well, now we've gotten into this whole conversation about my breakfast. I'll just... I, I, I gotta I gotta show you what I have for breakfast tomorrow. I'll probably... I'll, I'll probably... I don't know. I'll film myself getting up, maybe. I don't know. And it'll be like a vlog. I'll be like... Instead of, hello everyone, it's Bobby K. It'll be like, hey guys, it's Bobby K. And today is a new day. We're gonna do something fun. And a video that I can show to everyone. And I'm rolling my... <laughs> intro. Changing that soon. I want to. I've been wanting to. Probably, uh, probably at the beginning of 2025, I'll change. Oh my god, 2025. It's crazy to think that 2025 starts in like two months. Still, 2024 seems unfathom, unfathomably, unfat. It sounded good in my head. Unfathomably far away. Unfathom, fa fathomable, unfathomably far away in in my head <laughs> yet it is 2024 2025 in like blank amount of months what I'm like oh my god anyways 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 I'm getting I've been rambling for 17 minutes 
seven minutes, ten is about when I actually stopped talking about serious stuff. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about cereal. This is a haunted house build. Um, I will be showing you what I eat for breakfast tomorrow, though. I'll see you then. No oh, crap, let's see, I dropped my phone. Uh, you can't see me, but I did say that I'd see you bright and early. It is 9.47 a.m. I woke up, like, a couple minutes ago. And I'm gonna go downstairs. I'll have breakfast now. Yeah. As promised, here's my breakfast. I made this look extra good. I'm usually not this nice to myself. I'm gonna go enjoy this now. Alright, so uh, we got a rain watch. We're, we're, we're apparently getting rain soon. I, uh, I put bags over all the connections and uh, over the control boxes and whatnot. If, if it actually does start raining, which I don't believe it will, um, then I'm going to throw a garbage bag over every crop. Uh, the only one I might be worried about is Hauntress because all of her mechanics are at her base, and yeah. Anyways, uh, we have everything out here. You know, you're probably like, why are you talking about a rain watch? You put everything out, it looks sick. Uh, because it does. Um, anyways, I guess I'll go through and like do a little tour. Come on, Harvester. Got Harvester out here, still got the fog machine. I did make a little thing for the fog machine on there, so it's not just sitting on the grass. And it's just, and it's actually, you know, uh, I don't know why the fog machine was doing that thing last time where it wasn't putting out all the fog. It's doing just fine right now. The only problem is the wind. I don't know why, it still smells like the cotton candy fog. Uh, I may have mixed that, uh, wh whatever, like, a fog machine that had that in it last year with the fog juice in there. I could have just poured it in there. Her freaking hood keeps messing up. I don't know what the problem is. Good, good enough. Well, no, not even. I don't know. I may move her back a little bit. Instead of just having that one strip in front with the three props. But, uh, then we have Demonica. I was gonna get bobby pins for her hair. Uh, bobby pins. Uh, bobby pins for her hair. Uh, just to, like, keep it back. But, I, I we don't have any right now. So, my mom says she's gonna get some. Oh, uh, we got Hauntress up on the tree stump. She'll go off any... Oh, her sensor fell over. All right, she's gonna go now. I don't think I had a video of when I had her on here before. I don't think I videoed that day. Um, but here we got the werewolf. Um, God, he's stuck. He got stuck. Let me help him. Oh, I... Damn it. Oh, there it is. I might just try to put a spring on the mechanism for Halloween. But I, I'm gonna try to look inside of the, some of the spare motors that I have and see if I can um, grab a, a gear that fits the one that's broken in there. I haven't opened him up at all to look at it. Anyways, uh, I should probably turn on all these skeletons' eyes. Um, but, yeah. Uh, we got Sitting Skelly here. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna, I'm kind of going through this backwards. Uh, we got Swinging Skelly here. Head still needs to be fixed, but I put him out anyway. Sort of as a way to tell my dad, hey, fix his head. Or let me do it. Well, tell me how to do it, and I will do it. Anyways... Predator as per usual and bone collector as per usual. Now, okay, actually, oh, the, you're, you'll, you will be going this way, so you'll pass him this way. Uh, my dad, my, or not my dad, my mom did order those bulbs, um, all the uh, the lights. So they, I don't know when they're gonna be here, but we'll, I, I still have the the thing in the bag back there, but hopefully soon. 
we'll be able to um, we'll be able to put the the bulb in, the the uh, the blue bulb in and get him lighting up again. We did have a nice family come down earlier. Uh, they took a I, I brought him through the tent and everything. Um, also here, I'm gonna be putting uh, Colby's zombie. It's just a generic zombie prop. I think it's. I don't know who makes it. Uh, it's some company that went out of business a while ago, and I actually only found out that business went out of business is because there were problems with it, and I called the number that was on there, and it redirected me to Ruby's, and I said, "Hey, uh, I um, I'm looking for blank blank company. I have a zombie animatronic from them quite a few years ago." And they said, sir, that company's been out of business since, like, 2009. Where have you been? I'm like, well, back then, I was a little baby. But. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, swinging skelly here. You know, this is just, you know, you'll be staring at the werewolf's butt this whole time. The main thing you're supposed to be paying attention to is Hauntress, because when you get to the end and you go to turn, come on. Any second now. Uh huh. I'm waiting. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Hopefully she'll activate a little bit quicker than that when people are coming through. And then walking down here looks quite nice actually. I did turn Harvester that way this time. I think he looks better like that. And I don't know if I. Well, I don't know if I showed this on camera, but I did create a little thing where I just. Zip tied one by twos on there to ha help Skelly swing a bit better. I had those zip ties before at the end of the one by twos, and dude, he was going so freaking the the, the swinging was bad. Like it was like like you know how like well, well you know you, you just try to get as high as you can on the swing. That's what he looked like. He was just like going at it, like zoom, wee wee back and forth. Um, yeah. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I, I, I shortened it so he didn't do that as much anymore. Uh, yeah, then Graveyard, Grave Watcher looks cool. I, I do know, I don't know if I want to maybe move them back a bit. Oh, also, Howling Spirit, like, sometime during October, like, pro probably whenever we go to open the haunt, I will move him over here, uh, into the trees. Now, I'm thinking have him more on this side like for just when we're having him here but then for like Halloween I'll put him like right in front of the trees because I don't really want to disturb our neighbors that much um but yeah uh then uh the other stuff I did uh going this way into the tent headed towards the tent so I'll just go through. I don't think I really did anything much in these rooms. Unless I didn't film last night, which I think I did. Yeah, I did, because I remember filming that skeleton up in the air. Oh, yeah. Uh, no power out here. I unplugged this stuff. Uh, here, I did clear out this room. I was going to string those lights up, but I didn't. I may still. But... Um, you know, Crouchy, Dagger Mike. Dagger Mike, I'm going to move him back forward. The, but the, the family that I brought through, they knew the they knew, they knew knew every prop. Uh, the kid, he was like he was like a little spirit Halloween fanatic. He even knew what Deathcrawler was. Which, I mean, he could have been thinking of a different prop. But, <laughs> Deathcrawler. Um, so, yeah, this room. I think the, the lady that was here works at Spirit. She said she worked at Spirit. Um... So, I don't know which spirit exactly, uh, but she said she did work in spirit. So, uh, yeah, here's Wacky on the floor. I did open up the control box. It doesn't seem to be anything wrong, uh, sadly, but... So, if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe I ever even actually said what happened to Wacky. Basically, I went to plug him in with a different adapter because I thought his adapter was bad because it had, you know, a tear in it. But then I go to plug it in with a different adapter... And he just doesn't work at all. I, I think there's a board issue or something. 
if anybody has a wacky mole control box or board or knows how to reprogram it, then please reach out to me somewhere. Thank you. Yeah, Crouchy over here, you know. Uh, wacky is going to go right here. You may notice that Pisty and Wacky changed positions. That is because Wacky's shorter and Two Scoops is going to go back there. And I want people to be able to see Two Scoops better. So in the middle is going to be poor George. I need to get in contact with uh, Colby to get his props over here. I'm also thinking if I don't get Little Pale Girl, which the chances are even higher because my want for her is less because I just found out. Spoiler alert, she's not going to be in Tal Terrifier 3. Very sad, very sad. I'm act I, I actually am pretty sad about that because I really liked her character. Um, she was really creepy. But apparently the demon that possessed her is... Uh, in Victoria Hayes now so I still liked Pale Girl better I I, I think uh, Victoria Hayes would have been better as just like a side character that doesn't really do much and they could find out uh, like a separate subplot for her I don't know um yep this room hasn't changed much I just moved peekaboo back into the corner some just flew in there I might have kicked it I'm not sure and then over here, to my knowledge, nothing has changed. So, oh, I don't, no, I did, I did say, tell you about the Terror TV last night, the issues I had with that. Um, so, yeah, that is all the stuff I've done so far today. Uh, I will start to work on something else right now. I don't know if I want to move all those clowns in, because it doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to rain. As I said that, I thought I felt a drop of rain, but I don't think that was. No, I don't see any rain clouds or anything. It says it's going to rain, but I don't see nothing. So, hey, well, what are you going to do? So, uh, yeah, so I guess I'm just going to get to work on something else, and I'll update you after that. If there's a time lapse of that, I'll just roll it. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you after. All right, so it is the next day. I will actually turn on power out here before I actually film any of this stuff, but I did have all this stuff out yesterday. If you can see, if you can see it behind Predator in between the flag. Right there, that, that rope right there and that skeleton hand, that is swinging Skelly. He's just on there. Uh, I have a bag over him, so he's under the awning. He won't, there's nothing that can get ruined on him it is raining as you can hear i didn't actually get a chance to film anything before because it actually started raining as i was bringing things in yesterday so yeah actually so hold on let me go plug that in uh plug in the stuff over here on this side and then i will go through the other way and show you that all right so going through this side there's nothing really different in here, I don't think. I do need, I should trim this or tape it up or something. The Crypt Keeper room. I don't know if it was like this the last time, but as of now, this room is 100% finished until we get both of the backdrops and the light. Uh, the light is expected to come in today. Oh, I'm not sure if I said this, but... If you're wondering why this lamp got moved from there to over here, I swapped the lamp. It's because, if you notice, this table now has a, like a dent in it. That lamp was so heavy that this table couldn't support it. Dang, Kirk, you're, li you're loud. Quite the talker. Uh, but... Yeah, this, like, this, this, oh my god, <laughs> this wood is very, very thin, and, like, that is, like, maybe a half inch to an inch thickness, um, so I just moved it over there, uh, and it's being held up by two by fours, so I don't think anything's gonna happen with that on there, I think that'll be fun. Fun. Uh, I still need to get the candles for those. Um, the world worships the ground then one of the backdrops in the spotlight, which I actually didn't end up ordering a yellow one. I ended up ordering an orange one. All the yellow ones were like 
not actually yellow. They were warm, white, bug-repellent ones. They were, like, stuff that you would use on your front porch as a warm white. So, yeah, one of the backdrops, which is the one for this wall, will be coming in today. Same with all of the lighting. But then over here, the, um, the backdrop for over here is apparently not coming in until, like, October 15th. So, uh, I may have to end up ordering a different one just in case, um, just in case it doesn't come in before we open, or if it doesn't come at all, because, it, like, you know, it's, uh, it's common that things that are supposed to come, like, far out don't ever show up. Uh, we still got that box for the fog machine under there. I don't think that fog machine's gonna be the one we use in here, actually. Maybe use somewhere else. Uh, Mr. Dark's area is... Also pretty much done. I don't know why the the beam sensor is not working. Can't. I think the, maybe the batteries died actually in it. Huh? Because I actually haven't been shutting it off. Because as I think I said in the previous clip from here, the beam sensor is very very hard to deal with. Oh, it wasn't on, I don't think. There. That should be working now. I got this no, letter maybe the not. Other day. Here I, I'll figure it out. I bet, I'll just, I bet I just have to replace the batteries. But honestly, it's probably better that it doesn't work. Because I don't want to have Mr. Dark just keep jumping and jumping and jumping. Um, so this room is almost done. I think I might try to have my mom... Uh, do up the ceiling in spider webs. I need to use the cutters and cut those zip ties on that cord. Ooh, I gotta pull that cord out of the way. I hope it doesn't, like, get caught on the spiders as they jump. Uh, those are both running on batteries, so, uh, I'll probably replace them right before we open just to make sure they're fresh and new, but, yeah. Um, other than that, the spider room is pretty much finished. I still have, like, the dropping spider and stuff I haven't come across in any of the boxes. And stuff like that I'll obviously put in here. I don't know exactly where I want the dropping spider. But obviously somewhere in here I'll zip tie it on something, put a screw in. I don't know. Then, uh, this room is the main room that I started yesterday. So, I'll get Ringmaster going. He's plugged in. He's a tad quiet. Yeah, there we go. I actually sprayed a WD-40 on his, uh, on his mechanism, the whole, like, the hinge that brings him back, uh, just to make it a, li a little bit looser. There was no grease on it to begin with, um, because I wanted him to be able to, you know, pull back as far as he could, um, but, yeah, um, yeah, then this room, I finally found out what's going in this corner. We have, uh, George, if, I don't even know if I've shown him on the channel before, but apparently, apparently, to my knowledge, one of my dad's friends won him at a carnival a long time ago. It's just a big stuffed animal gorilla. Uh, let me, the, two sco the wheelbarrow is, like, gouging into his chest. Um, but, yeah, there he is. Uh, apparently, my one of my dad's friends won him at, like, a carnival. Uh, like, well, like a, at a carnival game, they got a lot of points or something. Or like at, at an arcade or something. I don't know. He's just basically a big, life-size gorilla stuffed animal. He's really big and fat, too. <laughs> and, uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna stuff some old clothes and I'll, I'll just... I'm gonna... So, one of the... So, I don't even know if I said this, but... It might have been after I filmed yesterday, honestly. But we had three separate families come through and take a tour of the place and uh, the first people that came they knew like like they were fans of spirit and stuff they they knew like a lot of the stuff um i gave them my youtube and everything so if that's you watching hi hi just uh saying hi there but um they were uh amazed to see crouchy in person because uh, you know who, who wouldn't be amazed to see crouchy in person he's so big uh Anyways, but, um, yeah, so, the, the kid, he made, uh, uh, they were showing me, he made a cauldron 
uh, and like the bubbling. Well, okay, he didn't make the. I don't. I don't think at least he made the cauldron. I think it was a plastic cauldron, but he filled it with spray foam and painted it green. Um, so, I actually had to, to probably some of your surprises. I actually have never used spray foam. So I think what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to use spray foam on the dummy so it looks like George is ripping apart the dummy and, like, eating him, basically. I'll probably have it look like the head is ripped off. Gatorade bottle from yesterday. I was working out here. I never brought it back in. Uh, I, I realized after I came back inside, I'm like, I'm not going to go back out there. Anyways, um, Wacky Mole is dead. His control box is not working. Uh, there's something wrong with the board. If anyone knows how to do board work, contact me somehow through any social media platform or email or anything. Uh, and, uh, the, one of the buttons also fell off. That's not a major thing, though. I don't even know where I put it. It's somewhere around here, though. Probably threw it in one of these boxes. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, he is a little bit dead. Or if anyone just has a spare wacky control box give it to me i'll take it um nothing else with any of these i i tested them all out there i was actually going to test wacky with because him and henry i thought i thought so henry's as after actually henry's didn't break nightcrawler's broke but i stole henry's for nightcrawler at the end of last season so i um so henry didn't have an adapter and wacky's was i thought wacky's was broken that is until I plugged a different adapter into him yesterday and he still didn't work. So, if there's some sort of short in the control box, I don't know what it is. But sadly, sadly. Um, then, coming through here. I, I did test all of them in their spots. They all work. See, that's a... Uh, that's what the, uh... That's Wacky's old adapter right there. I think that might have been the problem. I think because when I plugged him in, I think what could have happened is, um... I think those wires touching could have caused a short in him, which that could have been the problem. Which, that's sad because that would have been my fault. Um, then, uh, these guys, all the same, I moved Peekaboo back into his spot. I think, I, I do remember filming over here after I moved him, I think. So, yeah, then... All this stuff is generally the same. Oh, I am putting this uh, this Frankenstein head in the laboratory on the wall somewhere. Actually, I probably should keep it right side up. It's a, it's a bit it's a bit old. I think it's supposed to be latex, but it's dry rotted. So, um, yeah. Anyways, this today it, it is raining, like I said. But um, also, if you're wondering where we're keeping all of the graveyard props, the graveyard props, I'm keeping them in the garage so any prop that's not going to be in the actual tent i'm keeping in the garage Th that, therefore like we can keep the tent clear of everything so yeah anyways after, so what i'm gonna do right now is so we can plastic up this i'm going to move everything from over here and i'm gonna move it out of the way whether I'm moving it over on this side or I'm moving it, you know, farther over toward this wall. Just so we can plastic this side and get down that wall. And after that, all it really comes down to is building the rest of the walls on here. Which, I think my dad said he's going to go get the wood to do that. I, I don't even know when, but eventually he's going to go. I think probably tomorrow, possibly the day after. It's Sunday right now, so I'm, I'm not sure, but... Yes, he is, uh, he is going to do that, and I actually, I, I, okay, I think just doing that might be the end of this home build, uh, I'm gonna try to maybe end it today, I'm not exactly sure, and then, uh, and then I'll just show whatever I have the rest done today, and then, yeah, if I'm lucky, we'll have enough wood to build this wall here, and then I can actually start finishing this room and get this room all the way done. And actually, what's perfect is another thing I really want have been wanting to do 
is put Bloodthirsty Betty up on the wall in her spot over here. So then I can test like where we should have the sensor and stuff. I think we're going to use other beam sensor on her. We were also talking about using it on Hauntress because she doesn't really activate too well. I think that might just be a problem with her sensor though. And I do have a spare uh, crazy create um, prop sensor and that will work on her. So I think I may just swap it and see if it works. Anyways, um, yeah, the, after we get this wall up, then I can put her in her spot. Hopefully. Probably. But, um, anyways, yeah, that is it so far, and I'm cut to a time lapse of me moving everything out, or out of the way. I'm glaring this out. All right, so last segment of this haunt build, we got this wall on, which is pretty much the main achievement today, though over that wall, there may be a little bit more that you may be a bit more excited about. So, uh, Scalia put his other two arms up there. I gotta turn that one, that, uh, when I get on the ladder next, I'll turn it, and, you know, I'll turn his eyes on before we open, and I think, I think, now, I, I think I'm gonna cover that so that you can't really see through, oh, crap, that's what I need to do, hold on, before I continue filming, uh, I gotta add the spotlight in that room, because I was gonna do that, alright, so I did that thing, um, Thing, uh, it took me a couple minutes, but the spotlight, oh, it, it looks yellow on camera, what? It, it's like red, okay, you see how the ground is yellow on camera? It looks more red on per in person. How? Oh my god, it looks like, no, that... You can tell that's orange, right? He looks yellow and on oh camera. God. It looks a we lot different in person. Him. What? Airplane. Anyways, I put up this poster, which we did receive between this and not the last clip, but the. the, 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 the the clip technically before that. I don't I don't know why that's not coming any further, but I'll figure that out in a minute. I'll go down there and see. But yeah, this room is pretty much done until okay, I don't know. I need to get those candles, need to get batteries for those candelabras. And then it's done until I can get the light for back there. Actually I do I like kinda how it looks better on camera, honestly. This is uh, originally what I wanted, honestly. Um, but <sighs> I ended up going with orange. I think orange works fine too. But, uh, Mr. Dark, the batteries and the things went out. I've just been saying that he's off because technically he is. It's uh, it's awesome that now he's not actually jumping every ten seconds. So, <laughs> um, in here. I don't believe anything has changed. My tripod's out of here, so that's the only thing I think that changed. Um, so this whole area, twitchy on the ground, everything is the same, pretty much. And then over here is where we're gonna see some of the bigger stuff. We got art, and then it, it looks a lot different with the actual back done up black and oh my god would you look at that i'll take you right through it so um you enter this area like here bloody bag here i don't think this guy's staying here and i don't think the gorilla head is staying on him either it looks it looks so funny i glued the eyes in there i thought it looked would look weird just like weird because i was just going for like a weird look with that i was thinking maybe it would go in the laboratory or in the um 
somewhere in the circus. It looks even funnier on camera. It looks like that one cat meme, almost. Um, anyways, this area, this uh, whole area here, I haven't, I didn't recon reconstruct this whole area. Uh, then this area, oh, well, no, you enter, like, near Teary, almost, so, like, right here, about Nightcrawler in your face. I ended up using those police cages down here. Then, um, Deathcrawler is down there. Then, um, on, like, this wall, like, right here somewhere, I'm gonna have that light spinning around and whatnot. I think that might be the only light for this room. I'll have to see how it looks once I'm done. If not, I may put some other light in here. And then, um, the fog machine is gonna go under his table, or maybe under her table. I'm not sure. One of those. Um, then, this, yeah, uh, the, uh, bloody head is gonna go on that side of the table, Demonica, is going to stay there. I may modify her a little bit. Um, and then Frankie's head is going to go up right on that beam. Uh, the, the, the thing there that looks like a crease, that's where a beam is. So, yeah. Now we have Evil Christmas, which I'm going to decorate this tree. Don't worry. I won't just leave it, you know, normal. Um, the bear. The bear. All the dolls. Like, the bear, Annie, the roaming doll. No, these aren't their permanent places. I'm thinking maybe, okay. But I definitely in this room somewhere. Uh, I, I think these two look pretty good. I'm not sure about uh, Roaming Lizzie, I think. Uh, Lost Lizzie. Yeah. Um, then uh, Skelly Santa right there. Hey, this room is going to look a lot more Christmassy once this is all done. Uh, I may even possibly make the ceiling white. Like, like it's snowing. Uh, I don't know how I would do that. I don't have any, like, white tarp or anything. But, um, yeah. Then, uh, enter the cabin. Levitator right here. Then up, up here. I, I don't know what's gonna go here yet. Something, maybe. Same with this corner. Uh, but then right on this wall, Bloodthirsty Daddy, and it's perfect. Oh, that thing... That spotlight for Crypt Keeper is about to fall. I better get fixing that. I'll do that right after. If I'm lucky, we'll catch it fall on camera. Actually, if we're lucky, I, we won't catch it fall at all. But, uh, yeah, Bloodthirsty Betty on that wall. Then, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. You exit. And uh, that's pretty much the, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's all. So, that's actually all for today's haunt build. Uh, that's all for the haunt build. Th this haunt build. Number five? I want to say five? Six, possibly? One of those. And I'll see you in the next one. Bobathan. Kabobathan. Kringleberry. Out. All right, to anyone who actually stuck around and watched the full duration of this, even if it was in multiple sittings, I fully applaud you. This is, from what I remember, the longest video on my channel now uh, that beats out both prop collections, and it does not counting my live streams, but I, I think one of my live streams went up to, like, three hours or something. But, uh, yeah, so... I fully applaud you for watching this much, and let's just hope it can download onto my phone and upload to YouTube. That, that would be nice. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.